thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you. Om Kareem Karike Namaha. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing. It really helps me a lot. Don't forget to check out my website, paradoxastrology.com. Book your consultation today. I can help you with anything. And if you would like more exclusive occult videos that I don't post on YouTube, consider subscribing to my Patreon. It also helps to support this channel. Okay, this video is just a quick update on things that I've noticed that are going to change within Canada and the US. And I'm going to try to do more updates like this. Now, the solar eclipse for the US, I see this marks the beginning of financial troubles with the US economy because this eclipse with K2 is in the 10th house of the chart for the US and is conjunct Saturn by sign. Saturn is the lord of its second house of money and wealth and the third house of speech. So these two things are going to be changing or there will be a split in direction or a loss in these things. Also, Saturn is transiting the third house right now and it's retrograding back towards the moon. So that means that the U.S. is under Saudi Sati, which is a very challenging time. And this challenging time involves money that is shared resources because the moon is a lord of its eighth house. And it's in Rahu Dasha right now. So this will definitely impact its shared resources. It will also impact the state treasury. This is the loss of leaders. Now this could have to do with the election coming up that there is a change in leadership which obviously is going to occur no matter what but this is also public debt foreign debt the stock markets legacies pensions social security and a risk for people through war and national disasters because mars will also be retrograding in the eighth house in december so this is not a good position for Mars. It'll also be conjunct Rahu, which will amplify this. And then Mars is the Lord of its 12th house of losses and hospitalizations and the Lord of its fifth house of entertainment, sports, but the mindset of the leaders. We see a lot of changes happening in the entertainment industry that will transform as well as there's many, many things happening there, people getting exposed and all of that. So that's leading to its transformation. But Mars is also going to conjunct Mercury in its eighth house, which is its 10th house. So the reputation of the US is going to transform and change. And that could be through the matters of war or through the matters of the things that I mentioned. Also right now, Mars is conjunct the Ascendant Lord of the US in the seventh house, which is a signal of war, the seventh house and its partnerships. The sun is the leader. So leaders must be cautious in the US that there isn't some type of attack onto them, or this could be like heart attack, for example. This is also the ninth house Lord. So there is some kind of litigation and foreign affairs that is changing as well. So the way it communicates is changing, Free speech is changing, neighboring countries, the homeland is changing, crime is increasing, immigration, and there's losses due to major weather disasters for the U.S. now and coming up. Now for Canada, there is major losses in the economy that I see. Losses are transformations in partnerships. International disputes can occur over money and finance. Many were observing also that Prime Minister Trudeau looks a lot skinnier and this should be taken seriously as transiting Mars is conjunct the sun in the Canadian chart, which can signal problems with the heart or aggression towards the leader. And he's having a lot of people being aggressive towards him. He's in Mars Dasha. So that will happen. And this is in the third house, but the solar eclipse is in the sixth house of health for Canada and also that is the sixth house of war for Canada so we have to be careful of these things that this doesn't end up being Canada going into war or a sudden health epidemic sprouting up because Virgo does rule health matters so this could be war and conflicts but also in the D9 of Trudeau the eclipse in Pisces had Rahu conjunct his Jupiter and Saturn in the ninth house. So this is courts and law that he must be going through, which I know he is, but there's probably matters that we don't know about. 
and Jupiter is the lord of his sixth house, which is health, and also conjunct Saturn, which is the lord of his seventh house and eighth houses. So there is definitely a transformation occurring in partnerships that can involve the law. There's conflicts, there's litigation, there's health matters occurring. This can also signal matters of war as well in his chart because we have to look at the leaders for the chart of the countries because it really tells us what's going to happen. And he is also undergoing Sati Sati in the D9, which arises to conflicts in relationships or challenges in relationship matters or anyone who you see as an equal. So there's a lot going on there in his chart that's signaling that there's kind of some issues that may be with him, but also with Canada. Now on December 7th, Mars will retrograde and this will be in his birth chart in the 12th house. And Cancer is his ascendant in the D9. So it's going to be retrograding over his ascendant, over his son, which can signal issues with money, family, possessions, the heart, the body. And on January 12th, it'll be within three degrees of this ascendant. And on October 22nd, it'll be exact on his ascendant and son in the D9, which is the 12th house of the chart. So there's some kind of loss or health issue that is occurring with him. And it's important to look at these things because it can affect the entire country. But this can also be a loss for Canada as well, because what's shown in his chart will show in Canada. So these are things that we have to look at and pay attention to. So there's big changes occurring for the U.S. and Canada right now. So that's just a little bit what I wanted to share and I'll come back and share more as I research more. But I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one.